Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me today. Today I have a very small Goodwill haul, little bit of Walmart, and that's it. So let's get on it. Let's start with Walmart first and y'all would think I'm absolutely crazy, but you already know that by now. Buddha in the background with the dirty face. Definitely not Becky with the good hair. Okay, so I have exciting news, first of all. I'm on vacation next week. I am so thankful. I need a break. I need a break. So I decided yesterday that I'd go ahead. I'm actually going to be getting two vacations now. So I decided that I need the break now. So I want to take one of them right now. So... Oh, next week I'll be on vacation, so hopefully you'll see a little bit more of me, if you want. But anyway, let's get on with the haul. So y'all know I'm working on a secret. I'm not going to share it with you, but I'm going to show you some more of the stuff that I got. And you should be able to figure it out by this. I got sandpaper. I got, well, I got some deodorant. I got... Little hooks. And I got this big old jar, jug of joint compound. It's lightweight, but it's heavy. My gosh, it's heavy. And it's a lot. So, whew, that's a lot of stuff. That's from a craft. All right, now, that's all I got from Walmart. So, oh, I did get a 50-pound bag of dog food for the beast. Quit that biting. So, anyway, let's move to Goodwill. Now, I didn't get a lot. I did get a little bit, but let's get on with it. My house is a disaster. I have so much to do. This is why I wanted next week off. All right, I got these. I'm going to open it because I need it open anyway. A little Teflon mold. Little bunt cakes. Aren't they cute? And you just put your stuff in there, your, your cake filling or whatever you want to do. And you have the little bunt, little individual bunt cakes or crawlers or whatever you want to call them. I like cute. And that was $2.25. Then everything else is wrapped up, so y'all know what that means. I got these. Well, she wrapped them together. Let's see if I can't find it. I think this is it. I'm telling you, it's not a lot, but it's a little bit. Sorry for the paper rattle. I got this cute little creamer. It goes with my cobalt blue ceramic teapot that I have and I got the little sugar bowl that goes with it how cute is that all it make sure there's nothing rattling around in it like spices yep precious little sugar bowl I don't know who it's made by and I really don't care because it matches my little cobalt blue ceramic teapot yay all right I have that and I did get this I see some marking on it, but I don't know what. I do have the set of amber glass dishes, so I thought I'd go ahead and add to it a little bit. You know, it was cheap. It was $1.25. Oh, and these were $2.25 for two, so $1.12 a piece. Thank you. So there's that. And I got... Not much more, guys, honestly. I did get another. I don't have this piece for the amber glass, so I went ahead and got the mint or, you know, divided little tray. Mints and nuts, whatever you want to put in it. I thought that was cute. It goes with my amber glass. And again, I don't know who makes it. doesn't matter. It matches the color, so I went ahead and got it. I found another one of these, so this makes three of these I have, 
and I paid two twenty five for this. The little milk glass lattice work or lace work dish. Cute. I like. Forgot to tell you how much the other piece was. This piece was a dollar twenty five blue. So I got I like mine. Okay, I'm just gonna set them there for now. Then I got She wrapped this stuff up so crazy. I, love this one. I pondered on this one. I didn't know if I really wanted it, but for like 50 cent, 75 cent, I went ahead and got it. It's just the clear glass with the ruby foot. It was, like I said, it was a dollar twenty-five half off, so yellow. So I got it for 75 cent. And it's glass. So it's cute. It'll go with my my British decor. And if anybody knows if the baby has been born, please tell me. I don't have regular TV, so I don't know if the baby has been born, and I can't pull it up on my internet right now. Or I just haven't. So. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the royal baby, Megan, and my prince. Their baby is due at any, any time, and I'm, I'd like to know. All right, I've got just a couple more things. I thought these were really, really cute. They were $1.25 a piece, but I got four of them. They are Irish coffee <coughs> for my St. Patrick's decor. They're really cute. And it says Irish coffee on it with a little shamrock. And I just thought they would work really perfectly hanging. Yeah, I've got a place to hang three, and then I'll have one sitting on my bar. My coffee station, not a bar. I'm not a big drinker. I don't drink. So, you know, and occasionally I might have some, but on a rare, you know, it's really, really rare. But to each his own, I do. Y'all know that. All right, one more thing, and it's a big thing. So it's going to be kind of hard to show you. I might just pan around. Hold on, let me see what I can do here. I'm going to try. It's a table. And it's kind of heavy and awkward. Move, booty. Move, boo, boo. Move. Keep going. Wop, wop, wop. Thank you. All right. So, this is it. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Yeah, that comes out. It's okay. It's got a little thing that it goes in. Y'all can't see this. It's a table, guys. And I'm putting it on my porch. Can you see? It's got, see in here, I think somebody chalk painted it, or they did a real poor job painting it, but I like it. It's heavy and awkward to hold, but it's got this piece here that fits in the inside of it, so it makes it a complete table. The coffee table that I have sitting out there on my porch right now, it's low. And with the chairs I have, I wanted something a tiny bit higher so I could actually utilize it. And I'm going to keep my fairy garden on my other table. I am going to show y'all, hopefully next week when I'm on vacation, I can get my things finished up and go on and give y'all a little tour. I live in a wee little bitty country house. And I only have a few rooms to show you. So hopefully you like what you see. And last night I actually reupholstered one of my mid-century modern chairs and I'm going to do another one in a video I think and let y'all see how I did that with the glue gun yep I did I've reupholstered a chair with a glue gun but anyway that's all I have for y'all today I so miss going live so I can chit chat with y'all throughout the week makes me sad but soon guys hopefully very soon I'll be able to go live again thank y'all once again for your constant support and your love. It means so much to me. It really does. It, it feels my old, old heart. But anyway, until next time, please subscribe, share, comment, and like. Peace.